Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. Got some fun stuff here and I have some coffee. It's a mocha, peppermint mocha actually. It's a snowy day so I have my snowman mug and I'm wearing my fuzzy Sherpa. Mm, so good. All right, let's put the coffee up here so we don't spill it. And let's get started. It's got a, I got a pretty good size haul. All right, and I'm just no particular order. Hi, Dubs. Hi, baby. I found these bags in the party section. And I'm not sure if you can see, but they're shiny. Like, I'm not going to say they're holographic. What do they call them? Just gift sacks. They get six, but they're definitely like a metallic pink and blue. And I'm going to do um, some drop and run Easter gifts in these for my cousins and family. So I figure I'll put some candy in here, seal them up, put a little note and do a drop and run since I can't really, we have to do the socially distancing thing. So I got six of each. These are the only two colors, a blue and a um, pink. So I grabbed those. And then for, I'm making a Valentine's gift bag, which I will do, or gift basket, I'll do a video on. I grabbed this, I think this is like a hot pink uh, gift bag. It's a pretty big one for a basket and you get two. So I grabbed this to use or I grabbed one of these shrink wrap ones. So what you do is you put your gift basket together, you tie it up and then you go over it with a hair dryer and it shrink wraps everything. So we may use that one, we'll see. To go with those in the vein of the gift basket, I grabbed Oh, that's a receipt. Two of these ring, these curling ribbon bows. One in pink and one in red. And I thought I would put some on the inside and maybe one on the outside. So this is just plain red and this one's just plain pink. And you get um, two, two bows. Oh, the pink came with two bows and the red came with three bows. The pinks are a little larger, so maybe I'll use one of the pink on the outside and then one on the inside or something. Who knows? I don't know. It will happen. So I grab those, and if you're wondering why I have to keep them in a bag tied up, I have a cat or two that like to eat curling ribbon. Not good for them, so I keep it tied up. Wellington eats it. I've never had a problem, but we're not going to ask for problems either. Um, I found one more of these sarcastic, um, I'm fluent in sarcasm coloring books that I think I'm going to put in a future giveaway. So I grabbed one more of these. I have one for a friend and I'm going to put this in the stationary given giveaway that I'm going to do next. Speaking of giveaways, if you entered in my giveaway, the drawing is ending today for the, um, beauty pampering kit. I will have that video up tomorrow with the winner. So I grabbed that. That'll be in our next giveaway. And then I found this. Guys, it's Scooby-Doo. What? This is so for me. I love Scooby-Doo. Look at it. It's a coloring and activity book, but I just want to get my like crayons out. I don't even want to use markers or colored pencils. I want to get out the crayons and color in some pictures. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is for me. Straight up, not even gonna lie. Um, I finally found the bath geodes. This one's a little broken. I don't really care because I'm not, I'm gonna use these. They're very heavy. So let's open it up so we can see. I'll tell you the the flavors. So I'm like the only one in my family that likes um, bath bombs, pretty much. The Citrine, it rejuvenates in a vibrant golden water of this lemon scented bath bomb. Rose Quartz um, is rose scented and then Aquamarine is ocean air scented. So let's see, and these are Spa Life. And I, one time I thought Spa Life was a Dollar Tree brand, but I don't think it is. Oh, how fun, let's get one out. I'm trying to get one out guys. They're pretty big. Oh, they're stuck in here with that goopy stuff. That's a big bath bomb. And you get uh, three of them for a dollar. Oh, I smell the rose. I'm not a huge fan of artificial rose, but it's fine. 
So I will unbox this. I'll put these downstairs with my soaking tub and then throw the box away. Because like I said, I'm gonna keep it. My fireplace is getting a little warm over here, guys. Um, again, for potential gifting purposes, some cello. I will tell you, these used to come with much more than 72 inches, but it's just the clear. I like to use it for gifting and stuff. So I just grabbed one of those because I ran out at Christmas time. And then I got another six pack of this Nestle Splash. This is Mandarin Orange. I really like the acai, um, acai grape. Yeah, acai grape. And um, now I have the Mandarin Orange to try. I like these. They're nice to have around too when I just want to grab a bottle of water and, and go about my day. Um, because we all know I drink a lot of coffee, right? So I try. I picked up two of these. They have these every year. Um, I like to paint the pots and plant in it. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but they're fun for DIYs. You always just want to make sure they're not broken. Like this one is not. They come shrink wrapped together, but it's a nice size to do a starter in too. So I grabbed just one of those. Okay, here's some fun stuff. I found the Garnier Fructis. Pure Clean Dry Shampoo. I don't know, let's see what it smells like. Mm, that smells good. I think Garnier products smell really good. I thought it was just if you didn't want to wash your hair, but Sarah, my niece, tells me I can use it to like texturize and get some volume up here. So we're gonna try it. So I got the Garnier, it is dry shampoo, no silicone. Um, Instant, free, uh, instant fresh feel. So I grabbed one of those. Uh, for the stationary giveaway, I found this little notebook and it says, squeeze the day. Come on guys, squeeze the day. And I love it. It's like a little cut of lemon and then your lines are this way instead of this way. So I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed that for the stationary giveaway because I am on a stationary, you don't need it girl haul kit right now. This, I wish I had enough hair for it. I don't know what brand this is. Royal Deluxe Accessories. So it's a like a scrunchie with pineapples, but can we look at the little charm that it comes with? So I think I'll give the scrunchie to Sarah, but I'm gonna keep the charm. I'll tell her, I'm like, girl, I need this charm, but you can have the scrunchie because I don't have enough hairs for it. And she has enough hairs for it and it's super cute. So it's navy blue with little um, pineapples on it. Oh, I found a Pookie's view when I saw it. Um, my store did, did have it in this color and I think a lighter blue. I like navy blue, it's just my thing. I like it. All right, speaking of Sarah and Valentine's Easter, I grabbed her the Reese's Big Cup to try with the pretzels to put in her basket. And I also got her the Reese's Outrageous that has, looks like there's new peanut butter nougat, milk chocolate, peanut butter caramel, and pieces, caramel pe candy pieces, caramel pieces. Oh, Reese's Pieces in here. She'll like it no matter what. It's Reese's. So I grabbed that to put in her gift basket and then I grabbed two of these Godiva with caramel milk chocolate bars. Godiva is a great brand of chocolate and honestly a dollar for this bar is pretty on par with their pricing. I wouldn't say you're getting a deal at the Dollar Tree, but you are certainly not, you're certainly not overspending. So here, let's do this because I have more beauty stuff. Um, I found some more of these in the men's section. These are the the sock, the no-show socks, but these are men. So if you have a larger foot, so I will say my foot is moderately wide. I can wear a wide shoe or narrow. I mean a wide or regular, but I lean towards wide and I have an eight and a half foot. And the women's no-show socks like these just fall right off my feet. These work. These are the men's size six to 12. They're a little thicker than the ladies, but I will tell you, I love them. I have a pair of white. This would be two pair in black and a pair in gray. And I absolutely love these, especially for like in the summertime, just running around the house. They stay on. I've worn them in shoes. I wear them around the house. I have no issues with these sliding off my feet, just as a heads up. Um, and they're in the men's section. 
So there's that. Um, I might have, okay, so the whole like, I'm not buying any more notebooks, I, I know, but I did buy myself that. One more with the black paper. I love writing with it. I don't use this as a little mini notebook, although this would be the same as a Happy Planner Micro. Um, I take the pages out and put them in my regular planner when I'm like writing myself notes. Okay, I found the L'Oreal Extraordinary Clay Dry Shampoo. So I got both. The Garnier Fructis and the L'Oreal. Why does the L'Oreal feel, oh, because the L'Oreal comes with four ounces and this is only three at 0.4. I was like, why does the L'Oreal feel heavier? Because there's more in it. They're both clay um, dry shampoo. Um, and then I don't really, Ooh, that smells good. I like that a lot. So they both smell good. We'll see what they do. I'm gonna use them for my hair. Um, for Sarah's Easter basket or Valentine's gift, I found her the Lady Gaga um, Oreo cookie pack. And from what I've heard, it's the yellow or the golden cookie dyed pink, and then there's green filling. So I just grabbed her one of those for her Valentine's birthday, Easter or something. I get her lots of stuff. <gasps> I'm so excited. I found the Do You. This is a Korean beauty brand. This is definitely not Dollar Tree. Uh, we live like this. Do You Refreshing Grapefruit Body Spray. It does have a little bit of a sparkle in it. I'm gonna tell you, I use this as a linen spray. I spray my bed down with it before I get in at night. Oh, it's so nice to just have that refreshing scent of grapefruit. It smells so good. I grabbed, oh, so fresh. I love grapefruit. I grabbed three of these um, because I will wear it as a body spray, but I also like it as a linen spray. And I know that when these are gone, this is definitely not something the Dollar Tree is gonna be carrying on a regular basis. They must have gotten in some huge Korean beauty um, purchase because these are definitely not brands they normally carry. So I grabbed a couple of those, but even the Dollar Tree like body spray, you could spray it on your bed and use it as a, um, it's called a linen spray. And then when you get into bed, like I just missed it. And right before I climb in bed and then just let it just feels so fresh. I love it. Love it. Um, I found this one, which is Spa Life. It's just adorable. And this mask is sugared rose hip hydrating facial mask enriched with moisturizing rose hip extract and sugar particles to retrain to retain hydration. It feels pretty moist in there. And I've been on a on a kick with the face masks. I just love them. They're so relaxing. I love the hand masks and the feet the feet masks as well. Um, I just have more um, more face masks, but I love them. So I grabbed that for me. I found the Freeman um, bagged gifts. I'm assuming these are from Christmas time, but this one is um, hydrating glacier water and pink peony gel cream mask. And this is detoxifying charcoal and black sugar mud mask. So they are, they're each uh, 1.5 fluid ounces. So they're, they're little, but I bet you would get like, if I had to guess, five or six masks out of these each. And if we ever get to get on an airplane again, they are TSA approved. I'm just saying. And then I found the Rejuvenating Cucumber Pink Salt Clay Mask. And then the Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Off Clay Mask. So for $2, you're getting four different masks. How cute would this be in a Mother's Day basket, in a Valentine's Day gift, in an Easter basket? I mean, these, these you know, this stuff's not gonna go bad before Easter. I, there's not even a date on it, but I'm pretty certain it's gonna be good until at least Easter. I mean, think about how sweet that would be in just a little Easter basket with a goodie, some tea. I just think it's fabulous. Um, well, that doesn't belong in there. I did grab one of these pink containers. I love these containers. So fun fact, I'm getting delivered to me to try out a company is sending it to me. It's a 
you know, the fabric boxes, it's gonna be a fabric set of drawers and I'm gonna put it in my craft room. So I needed some containers, I think, to put in those drawers to separate. So we'll see. I didn't buy too many. I think this one is actually gonna be for my face masks, but um, I will need some like that. So I grabbed this pink one because I like, I liked it. And I thought I will just, in my bathroom closet, put all my face masks either this way or this way. And then I will have, you know, a visual of what I have to use. Um, I found this. This is called Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Nasal Inhaler. Guys, this is definitely not Dollar Tree brand. I think the brand is Salt Range. You take this out. I'm not going to open this one. I have one going already upstairs, but it's mint. It is essential oil. So it's natural mint oil. Clears away when breathing relief or nasal congestion due to colds. It's packed with natural essential oils, non-medicated. It is amazing. So if you've watched my channel for more than like, I don't know, 10 minutes, I'm stuffy. I'm always congested. I had a really bad headache the other day and I was just sniffing on this. Now it's a, it doesn't last all the day, but I just did a little bit of sniffing and it helped with my headache. I was shocked. Um, but I know peppermint's good for headaches, but this is great. And it's, um, you just pull the top off and you just sniff it. One thing I'd stuff it up your nose, but I'm not stuffing it up my nose. So I need to get a couple more of these because this worked really well for my headache. All right, just one more bag. What? All right, one more bag. Um, also for our stationery giveaway, look at that book, Be Beautiful. And it's one of our favorite notebooks with the spiral bound. It's 50 or 60 sheets, 50 sheets. It is jot, but do you see the metallic? Oh, I love it. So this will go with this and some other stationary items that I have collected and I will have a giveaway. And my favorite pens will be in here as well. So this will be the next giveaway. I'm not sure when I'll announce it, but it'll happen. All right, and then the last few things I picked up, I grabbed some of these plastic Easter eggs. And I feel like this is the first year they've had these. Now we've seen them in the heart for Valentine's Day for sure. But these hold candy, you can hang them. So if you don't want to help put candy in them, you can use them as like a garland, hang them on a tree. I'm putting candy in them. These are gonna go in those bags for my family. So I grabbed them in green and pink, and they also had a blue, but I just got green and pink, and you get four in each. And then they have just different um, embossed prints. I'm not sure if you're seeing it, but they have little prints on the top of the container. So I have eight of these. I figure I'll do, you know, some candy in here. I'm trying to buy all pre-wrapped candy, nothing like loose jelly beans or anything like that. So more like Hershey Kisses, Reese Peanut Butter Cups, little pre-wrapped chocolates to fill these. And then for my little cousins, I'll probably put some like dollars in one of them for some money. And then I saw these, and again, I don't know if they had these last year. But they're pretty decent size. You get three in a pack and they're they're eggs, but you can fill them up and the top comes off. So I think you can get more in these. And I thought these were adorable as well for my bag. So I got two of those. So I have six of these and eight of these. And whatever I don't use, I'll just um, decorate with around here. But I thought those would be adorable. Um, with some fake grass down in the bottom of the bag with some of that. And then I think what I will do is go across the street um, from my house. There is a business that makes popcorn, um, like caramel corn, but all different flavored caramel corn. And I'm going to get individual little bags of that over there to put in with their Easter gifts. And then, like I said, for the kids, I'll put like 20 bucks for them to be able to get out and do something or order something online or whatever, um, just to give them the opportunity because, you know, it's gonna be a little quiet this year. So I wanna stop by and drop things off. All right, I think that's everything I got. It is. That is everything I picked up this week at the 
Dollar Tree. Um, I think I have my vlog going out tomorrow. This will be up on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we will announce the winner of the giveaway so I can mail that out. And then Thursday or Friday, I'm doing my uh, month wrap up for January on my first month of budgeting and how I got started and what are the things I did to plan myself to be prepared for this budgeting for the year of 2021. So that's it for this week, guys, but I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later.